Hey, welcome back everyone. Got a little behind the scenes BTS. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make this available for everybody, whether you're a Patreon or patron, uh, subscribe to the Patreon or not. So YouTube, Instagram, I'll, I'll post something on there about it, Twitter. Check out this video, because this video is gonna be a little lessons learned. So what's up everybody, it's the Duke here. I've made some mistakes. I make mistakes, it's, it's part of being human. Um, and especially when you're learning something new that you've never done before, you're gonna, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna screw up, you're gonna, you're gonna biff it. Um, and so I, I just wanted to, it's a short little video, this isn't gonna be another 30 minute affair or anything like that. Just a few minutes to show you some some goof ups, some things that that I wish I had known better. I wish I'd done differently. Um, we, I won't do again because now that I know, knowing is half the battle. Uh, so, you know, just kind of want to uh, hit you up with a couple of things. So first off, so I've been, I've, I've showed you, I've actually showed you this exact mold before, and because uh, I was, this was my first mold. Uh, this was the first mold I ever actually made myself. It's uh, some some blank inclusion dice that were 3D printed for me by John's 3D Prints and Dice on Etsy. because I, not that I've done this, but don't do this. One thing that I've learned is if you're casting or if you're, you're molding, if you're trying to make a mold of uh, UV resin dice, in, in other words, resin that's come out of a 3D printer, don't use platinum cure silicone. Use tin cure silicone because otherwise your mold is not going to cure properly. Something, something to do with the properties of UV resin, it doesn't, doesn't play well with, with platinum cure silicone. So that's kind of the first thing. If you're casting, if you're trying to mold, stop, 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 phrasing. If you're trying to mold UV resin, something around UV resin, if you're, if you're trying to make a mold of, of something that's made out of UV resin, only use tin cure silicone, all right? So the first thing, so I poured, I poured, basically I had my, I had, I had my box with my, with my dice along the bottom and I used some, some tape to secure them. Poured my silicone, waited for it to cure. This, this actually has, I think a six hour cure. And I just ordered some new stuff from Amazon that only has a 75 minute cure, still, still 10 cure, but cures in 75 minutes, which is uh, gonna be super sweet because I have a feeling I'm gonna need to make a lot of these. Anyway, so I poured my silicone, waited for it to cure, removed the box, turned it over, and the 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 actually the actually set that I got has these these registration marks or these keys kind of built in, and this one actually kind of disappeared because of what I had to do to it. So, but you'll see, maybe, maybe you can see that there's there's definitely some tearing in this mold, certainly around uh, in between these dice here. Which isn't and and around the registration marks, which isn't great. Um, and and I'm sure if 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 you're watching this and you've ever used silicone, you're probably like, oh, I know what you didn't do. Well, um, that's the second lesson learned. So I thought, silly me, grab this. I thought that that if you're making silicone, if you're molding silicone. Oh, also, you like you like the poncho, you like the poncho. 
um, little early, early birthday present from Mr. and Mrs. The Duke. Um, if, if you if you recognize uh, if you recognize this, shout it out in the uh, in the comments because uh, this is a well not a comments of this video, but shout it out on Patreon or hit me up on Twitter or Insta because uh, this 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 poncho is a is a pop culture reference. Anyway, so silly me, I thought that if I'm making a silicone mold, that I could just get some mold release lubricant, spray it on the mold. And then when I poured the next layer of silicone, in this case, the cap for this, that I would then be able to get it apart easily. Well, it turns out this stuff is uh, not silicone mold release, but it's silicone lubricant. So I was spraying silicone on silicone while I pour my silicone. Needless to say, it didn't work very well, which is why you can see these, these tear marks. And you know, in the cap, you've got, they're supposed to be nice, you know, even, uh, very, very clean. And you can, you can see them, but you can also see these bumps where, where the mold tore. Because what I had to do, because once I, once I poured my silicone and again, waited for it to cure, um, and, uh, and then came back to this, what had, ha what had happened was, I just had a solid block of silicone with some dice inside because there was there was no there were, there were no edges to grab that I could I could take the cap off. So what I had to do was I had to cut this side and you see the first failed cut and then I was like, "Oh, I got to go a little deeper to get to get the silicone apart and then I just kind of slowly peeled it back, which is why you get all these rips." Uh, luckily, I hadn't I hadn't let it over cure, so this was just barely at six hours. So I could still kind of take it off. Um, but as you can see, it sucked. So that's, that's, don't, don't use, don't use this stuff. But also, I guess the, the other, the other kind of, uh, one of the other lessons learned here is don't trust the internet. Now I realize I'm telling you that on the internet while telling you things not to do. But I guess to, to, to clarify that, don't trust Reddit. Reddit's awful. Reddit is a, Reddit is just one step above the comment section on YouTube. So me, like a dummy, not taking my own advice, I was like, oh, well, let's make another mold. Let's do it again. Let's redo this. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Let's redo this. Let's make another make another mold of my inclusion dice so I can hopefully maybe get those started with uh, mold them in UV resin or not UV resin in epoxy resin so then I can use those as new masters to make a, a platinum cure silicone because I'm, I'm this 10 cure I'm not, I'm just not I'm not feeling it very well so I go okay well what is what does the internet say and reddit says oh well you don't need this fancy expensive stuff which doesn't work anyway Although there is stuff that, that does that you can buy, but it's like t literally $20 for a, you know, 12 or 14 ounce can, which would last quite a while. But at the same time, it's like, I, wh why, why, why? I can get, I can get almost, you know, I can get, I can get some of this for like 20 bucks. Why am I, I don't get it. Anyway, so I listened to the internet and they were like, oh, you just need to, to, to grease your, your silicone before you pour a, a second part. You just need two parts of isopropyl alcohol and one part dish soap. Well, shoot, that sounds easy enough. I have both those things in large quantities, so let's do that. So I, I poured my, put my dice in the thing again, and put poured my, my bottom, and then waited for that to cure, turned it over, and then got out my, my handy little spray bottle. I don't have it handy, because, well, now it doesn't work. Doesn't need to, I don't need that anymore. Pulled out my spray bottle and, and liberally uh, sprayed the the surface that I was going to pour on, and I even you know kind of sprayed around the edges and, and everything like that. So so hopefully I could get it out. Poured more silicone on top, waited for it to cure, and then again, I had a solid block of silicone with dice inside, and I'm like, God dang it. Okay, well fine. So. This time I'm like, okay, well let's let's cut it with an exacto that you can see that's the nice smooth cut. 
and let's peel. And it, it started going poorly immediately, as you can see. It started just tearing, and, and the more the more I went, the worse it got. And holy crap, you guys, this is this looks like some sort of, uh, you know, some some sort of uh, cosmic horror. Like that's Jesus, that's bad. There's not one face here. There's like five faces. This ain't gonna work. This is wrecked now. So, moral of this story is that you cannot release silicone from silicone with a mixture of isopropyl alcohol and dish soap. Screw you, internet. You suck. All right, so that's a failure. Oh, and uh, so the other thing, the other thing, so this mold, this mold, the reason this is also a failure is that I used it to cast some, some dice, some epoxy resin dice, which are right here. And from a distance, they look fantastic. Look at this. Look at how look how pink these are. I use I use some some pinkest pink. But the closer you get, let's see what's what's one that's pretty bad. Oh, this one's pretty bad. The closer you get, you see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. There's not supposed to be anything there. This little nubbin. That's a bubble. I'm like, what the hell? Why do I have bubbles? In my silicone. That's not supposed to happen. Look at that. That surface is is crap now. How did that happen? What did what in the world? What in the world went wrong with this nonsense? That I've got bubbles on the surface of these dice. That. Look, at, look at that nonsense. If you can see it. It'll focus. It won't focus. But this these 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 are crap now. I mean I'll sand them. They'll they're they're salvageable because they are inserts ultimately. Look at the pretty pink. Look at that. I like that. Anyway, these are salvageable. I'll just sand them down and, and make them work. But why did why did I get bubbles? Why did I get bubbles in solid silicone? Well, it turns out it wasn't solid silicone. If I had read the data sheet on my uh, Umu 30, ooh, smooth on Umu 30, I would have learned that I needed to, basically when I was done with the molds and pulled the dice out or whatever I was molding, I needed to basically bake them for four hours at 150 degrees. That would post cure the silicone and make it actually solid. I didn't do that because I didn't know, uh, or rather I read it and then I forgot, I immediately forgot. So when I had thrown epoxy resin into those, put them in my pressure pot, pressure had squeezed, the bubbles that were trapped inside were then squeezed into the dice. Ugh. So now the, the voids, that are in this mold have tiny little bubbles on the skin surfaces, which means this mold can go in the trash because it's useless. So that's annoying. So I need to make a new one and then obviously post cure it in the oven at a very low temperature. So always do always read your safety data. Well, I mean, it's a safety data sheet too. It's not only instructions, it's a safety data sheet on any chemical that you're using, whether it be something like this, something like the silicone, your resin, whatever chemicals you're using, Read the instructions, folks, and actually retain the information, especially if it's telling you, hey, do something like this so you can make it usable and you don't wreck the crap that you spent, you know, a day making. Uh, okay. So yeah, so if you're if you're if you're using silicone, make sure you post cure it if it needs post curing. Because I didn't do that, and now now I've now I've got to remake molds. Um, what else? Uh that's all I can think of. That's all I can think of right now. So this video is already a little long, so I'm going to call it here. So until next time, everybody, have a great day. Be cool. Peace.